You, your question um, made me think about, I think it was Jesse James who said that the best way to rob a bank is to own one. And uh, the best way to steal an election is to run one, you know. And the, all of the propaganda about fraud um, is a distraction from the fact that the real fraud, of course, takes place by people who run elections and make hundreds of decisions in an electoral season that really affect who gets to the polls and who doesn't. And that, to me, underscores the importance of figuring out a way to get nonpartisan administration of our elections so that everybody really can have confidence and trust. And if you look at what neighboring countries have done, like Mexico and Canada, they create these electoral commissions where, see, the way we do it in America is, the way we think we have a fair election is we say, the best states say, well, we'll have Democrats and Republicans running it together. And what they do is they say, we have no partisan representation. We, you put in journalists and think tank people and scholars and people outside to try to make these decisions so you don't get partisan deals and shortcuts and so on. And I think that we, you know, there, um, uh, the, um, there, there's a group at American University um, which has been pushing um, nonpartisan electoral administration. And I, I do think that that's something that, you know, we need to do. I just want to go back to this trust issue again. Um, you got me thinking when you raised the issue of trust again. Uh, many of the things that we've done in response to the distrust of the electoral process has actually had the reverse uh, or um, effect on the electorate in that we've increased more distrust because we've tried to delineate who shouldn't vote or that this group of people is voting and they shouldn't be voting at all. And we've brought out the fear-mongering and electoral suppression and electoral intimidation. And the more we hear this, uh, the more distrust we ferment uh, within the electoral, electorate process. I think that we should actually look at some of the models that they use in Europe. 